Less than 200 votes separate the top two Republican candidates for the governor of Kansas. Unofficial results this morning have Chris Kobach, Secretary of State in Kansas, winning the Republican primary. However, there are still thousands of mail-in ballots that have not been counted. These results come after a long night in Johnson County. Results were not ready until just shy of 8 o'clock this morning, nearly 13 hours after the polls closed. Officials are blaming technical issues for that long delay. Governor Jeff Collier says this election is still too close to call. Those unofficial results show that he falls 191 votes short of the Republican nomination. Johnson County told us they still have as many as 5,000 mail-in ballots to count, which could take until Friday. Now, Governor Collier won Johnson County. We have team coverage of this historically tight race this midday. We're going to start this morning with 41 Action News reporter Ray Daniel. She's live in Topeka, where a news conference with Chris Kobach is scheduled to happen sometime in the next hour. Ray, what are we expecting? Well, Taylor, we are right outside where that press conference is happening at the Capitol Plaza Hotel. And this will be the first time Secretary of State Jeff Collier will address the media since Johnson County finished tabulating all those votes. Now, the unofficial results showed Kobach won the Republican race for governor by 191 votes. However, between now and Friday, the election office will count any new mail-in ballots that were postmarked Tuesday and count provisional ballots as well. We caught up with both ca candidates last night before those results were released. And so, again, like I mentioned, you know, Chris Kobach will be expected to speak with the media at noon today. There was a planned press conference for Jeff Collier, but he canceled that press conference because he said that this race is just too close to call. So we did call his office. We have yet to hear back. We'll be sure to keep you posted. For now, live in Topeka, Kansas, Ray Daniel, 41 Action News.